Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of uh, Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at the Dark Glow Ring Mail. Uh, the Dark Glow Ring Mail is a relatively low level item at level 14 and um, it has some pretty nice statistics. Um, it always kind of got overshadowed to me by the um, Erathas set, which has uh, plus to maximum resistances as well. But um, Dark Glow Ring Mail is certainly an interesting one uh, at a very low level with some very nice bonuses. And, uh, and as we go over it, I hope you will uh, see it in the same light that I do. So uh, right off the bat, you see it has uh, 90 defense, uh, which does vary a little bit from 70 to 100% enhanced, um, which is uh, which is not a huge difference, but uh, it, it'll be anywhere between like 83 to like 90, maybe like 99. And um, that defense is actually kind of nice at level 14. Uh, it has 22 attack rating, which also comes in handy for any kind of melee or ranged character around that level. And uh, it also has 50 defense versus melee, which is an additional defense bonus when you're in the thick of it. Um, normally you see defense versus ranged, not defense versus melee. So it's interesting to see a, a, a different effect. Uh, we've got 5% max poison resist, 5% max cold resist, 5% max lightning resist, and 5% maximum fire resist. Now what this means is, is that when you have the armor on, if your resistances are hitting the cap right now, like I am hitting the cap at 75% and I put on the armor, my cap will increase by 5%, allowing me to hit 80% instead, uh, which is a pretty big deal because it reduces the amount of damage that you take by another 5%. Uh, now, it also gives 10 to all resistances, which is definitely nice to uh, to have along with the plus to maxes. And this can, can be com combined with other items. So for instance, um, if I were to wear the full Erathas set um, with this, which is the helmet, the amulet, the gloves, and the belt, the Erathas set gives me 10% to all maximum resistances. With, with Dark Glow, that would be 15% to all maximum resistances, and I would be looking at a total of 75 plus 15, which is 90% uh, to all resistances. So at level 15, which is the level that you can use Erathas, um, you could be wearing Dark Glow Ring Mail and the Erathas set for a a really sweet total of 90% uh, to all resistances, which is pretty ridiculous for normal difficulty and will pretty much make you nigh unkillable and for pretty much all uh, elemental forms of damage. Um, and it's not too shabby at protecting you from the, uh, from the melee damage either. Now, um, who can use this armor? The, the real problem with this armor is that um, to hit or for those maximum resistances to be useful, you have to actually hit the cap. Um, a lot of players will completely neglect their resistances to the point where Dark Glow does them no good. Um, if I'm running around with 40% fire, 40% cold, and 40% lightning, um, or 40% poison, and, and I have nothing capped, when I put on Dark Glow Ring Mail, it's not really going to do me any good to have an increase in my caps if I'm not actually hitting those caps. So that's something that you really have to take into consideration when you think about Dark Glow Ring Mail. Um, it can also be useful on a mercenary, believe it or not. So if you uh, hire yourself a mercenary, it doesn't matter who you grab, um, and you throw the Dark Glow and Ring Mail on your Mercenary, the Mercenary will also gain 5% to his maximum resistances. Now, the silly thing about this armor is that it is, gets outclassed. So uh, later on in the game, you will come across an armor called the Guardian Angel Templar Coat. And uh, this one has uh, also max resistances, but it's higher has more defense, and in general is just a better item all around. So the Dark Glow Ringmail ends up getting outclassed as soon as the Dark uh, the uh, Guardian Angel Templar code comes into play. But until then, it actually makes a halfway decent uh, armor for a mercenary because it will protect them from uh, all of the, the slings and arrows. Now granted, they're under the same problem that you are, though. They have to hit that max resistance as well before that max resistance becomes useful. So right now she's level 64, so when I put the Dark Glow Ring Wheel on her, she gets that bonus. But if I were to go to, uh, let's say, Hell Difficulty uh, with this particular character, you will notice that uh, her resistances are not quite as good, and uh, and the Dark Glow Ring Wheel is not really helping her anymore. 
uh, because now she doesn't hit that max. So she still gets the 10 to all resistance from the Dark Glow, but she doesn't actually get the rest of the effects. Now you can also find Dark Glow Ringmail in its ethereal form, which I have right uh, here. Um, and unfortunately, the defense is not calculated properly. But uh, but let me go ahead and uh, run the calculations for you guys real quick. So uh, it is a base defense of the ring mail, uh, which is basically about 40, say 47. So 47 plus the 85% uh, enhanced. Oh, sorry, I did the calculation wrong. 47 plus the 50% ethereal, um, and then plus the 85% enhanced, uh, which would give us a total of 130 defense for the uh, for the ethereal version. Now, of course, you can upgrade this to get yourself some more defense, and we're going to do that right now. So uh, we're going to need a shale rune and a tal rune and a perfect diamond. And uh, when we upgrade this, it will go from uh, 90 defense, 36 strength, level 14 requirement, to 307 defense, 74 strength, and level 30 requirement. So as you can see, actually not a terrible mercenary armor. Um, if your mercenary is hitting the numbers, if he's hitting the caps, um, then giving him 5% more to all the caps is certainly not a bad idea. Um, it is lacking some very important mercenary things, like faster hit recovery and lifesteal, um, and uh, I don't know. It, uh, if you didn't have anything else, I could definitely see an upped dark glow ring mail being useful on a mercenary of course if you had the ethereal version it would be a little bit better so let's upgrade the ethereal version and let's see how much defense the ethereal version gets um, so we are going to go from 26 strength level 14 and uh, and the defense is going to fix itself when i upgrade it uh, so it goes to 494 so not bad a little bit more defense uh, at level 30 uh, definitely a little bit more viable for a, uh, a mercenary and um I don't know. Um, could be your early um, kind of like a guardian angel while you're doing uh, nightmare council runs um, until you get to uh, to hell and you uh, you're probably going to upgrade to the uh, to the guardian angel templar code. Uh, but uh, let's take a look and see what it's like if we upgrade it one more tier to uh, the hell difficulty version. So the dark glow ring mail, or sorry, linked mail with the Lem, the Co, and the Perfect Diamond, and this will upgrade uh, from 307, 7430, to 723, 131, 66. So uh, 66 level requirement is pretty high. Uh, 131 strength requirement isn't too bad, and the defense didn't go up really an exceedingly large amount. So 723 is actually kind of kind of low, um, and I feel like at this point, the Guardian Angel Templar Code is, is easily uh, lapping it. Uh, so let's check the ethereal version too. So we have 494, 6430, and that goes to 1338, uh, 121 strength requirement and level 66. A little bit more um, worthwhile uh, for a mercenary uh, if you didn't have anything else. Uh, this could definitely be used to bump up your mercenary's uh, maximum fire, cold, lightning, and poison resistances. Um, all in all, I don't really feel like this armor is probably worth upgrading to tier 3. Um, it really excels as a level 14 armor, and um, the Guardian Angel Templar Coat, uh, which is Guardian, uh, Guardian Angel Templar Coat. Uh, the Guardian Angel Templar Coat is level 45. So, um, so by the time you get to level 30 and the linked mail, um, you have about 15 more levels before the Guardian Angel Templar Coat comes around. And uh, why is the Guardian Angel Templar Coat so much better than the Dark Glow Ring Mail? Well, because it has 15 to all maximum resistances instead of 10. Um, it also has plus one Paladin skill levels if you're a Paladin. And it has uh, attack rating versus demons. It's got uh, faster block rate and it has increased a chance of blocking. Um, and much more defense. So in general, um, the Guardian Angel Templar Coat wins out over the Dark Glow Ring Mail past level 45. However, at level 14 to 30, or sorry, at level 14 to 44, if you're looking for increases to your maximum resistance, just you're not going to find them in many other places. Um, there's only two places you can go, really, for increased to maximum resistances of this type, this of, of literally every single resistance, and that is the Arathas set and uh, Dark Glow Ring Mail. Now, you can get individuals, like Nozick and Relic will give you a little bit of a boost. Um, I believe Inferno 
or Hotspur Boots will give you a little bit of a boost to your maximum fire. Uh, Venom Ward will give you um, a 90% poison, uh, things like that. But um, but the combination of Dark Glow and Arathas is kind of hard to beat, especially when you can get 90% to all your resistances, basically at level 15. Um, there's really not a lot more uh, to talk about with this armor. It's fairly easy to find. Uh, being a uh, ring mail, it's going to drop just about everywhere, probably Act 2 and up. And um, that's about it. Um, the runes to upgrade this uh, from Tier 1 to Tier 2 were actually surprisingly cheap, so I wouldn't be too worried about uh, that upgrade. So if you did the upgrade and then uh, and then you didn't need it long, any longer, you know, you wouldn't have to worry about throwing it on the ground. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. But... Um, but you know, later, when you're lock to looking at the uh, the lemon the code upgrade, that's a bit of a, a stretch, and I probably wouldn't do that. Tier one upgrade to tier two, I'd say yeah, that's all right. Tier two upgrade to tier three, maybe not so much. Uh, maybe if you have the ethereal version, but even if you have the ethereal version, I feel like your guardian angel templar code is going to outshine this, um, no matter what. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys and gals, and um, I, I do appreciate it. And as always. Keep watching.